So let's go ahead and start cleaning up uh, this top layer here. And so what we want to do is we want to start getting rid of all these weird moments here. Like when we hit three, if we isolate select this, when we hit three, we begin to see that this is actually very jank. It's not very clean. Um, it's a pretty much a big mess. And this will happen when you start booleaning geometry together uh, because the edges aren't lining up necessarily when you just kind of place a piece in there. So it's something that we have to do post. Uh, it's not a big deal because we're able to then start shaping and refining some more of the geometry. But what we want to do is we want to avoid moments like this where there's you know an edge coming to another face here that doesn't have uh, like a clear distinction of what belongs to what. Like here we have this vertex that's just kind of floating here between these two edges. Um, it's connected to an edge here, but it's everything's just kind of poking through itself, and we want to go ahead and start to clean this up quite a bit. And while we're doing that, we're going to start shaping, uh, basically starting to smooth some of this down and begin to get that effect that we were looking for. Um, like I mentioned before, this is merely just a, a template that we're then going to start to work around. So the tools that we're really going to use for this, if we go up to our polygon menu sets and we pull out the edit mesh tab, we're really going to be using uh, the merge and merge to center or the merge vertex tool if you'd like. Um, I'm going to be using merge to center here and I'm going to open up my attribute editor and just to make sure I, all my history is turned off. Um, so great, so let's go ahead and just start cleaning this up a bit. So I'm going to go over to my vertices and I'm just going to start grabbing these guys and I'm just going to hit merge to center. And we're going to want to start inserting some edges. Like in this in this example here, when I take all those, I'm going to hit G. Uh, G is to repeat the last command. And so we're going to introduce with split polygon, I'm going to hold shift, hold right click, split, split polygon tool. And I'm going to insert an edge here. We don't have to worry about lining it up necessarily right now. I'm going to grab these here and I'm going to hold V to pull it down. I'm going to select both of them and hit M, which is the, my hockey for merge, merge to center, sorry. One other thing, if I undo this, uh, make sure that you go up to display, uh, heads up display and poly count. This is going to show you this heads up display here with the amount of vertices, edges, and faces. So. In this scenario, when I held V to snap this down and I highlighted the marquee over both of these, and you notice that we have a vertex count of two, so we always want to make sure that we keep this on to get an idea of what's going on with our vertex count. And then when you merge it, you notice it goes to one, and you can see the history starting to rack up. So I'm going to go ahead and start uh, continue doing these. And so in this scenario here, I'm going to grab both of those, and I'm going to hit merge the center. And I'm going to move this edge, holding V for vertex snap to there. And I'm going to merge them. Hitting three, checking that. So in this scenario, here we want to insert an edge, hold shift, hold right click. Oops, sorry, you got to be in object mode. Hold shift, hold right click, split, split polygon tool. And I've set up a hotkey for that. Uh, and I use the the S key for it. I'm going to delete edge vertex that guy. I'm going to grab that vertex, move it here, select both of those, merge to center. I'm going to actually grab both of those vertices there and just hit delete on those. Move this guy over. And so now it becomes a game of just cleanup basically. Split polygon tool again. Always trying to keep the four sides. In this case, I'm going to grab that edge, delete it, and I'm going to insert an edge here by using the split polygon tool again. And bring those over. So these guys here, we can take both of those. <coughs> Excuse me, we can merge those. Same thing with those, hit G. Grab that one, snap it. Here I'm going to insert an edge by using split polygon tool again. 
And you can see the advantage of using split polygon tool as a hotkey because you can start to very quickly uh, establish what edges you want to have. Otherwise, you can hold shift, right click again. Sorry, go to object mode, hold shift, right click, split, split polygon tool. Here you can either draw an edge. We have this triangle here. Uh, and like I said, I mean, you're going to have triangles, so it's not the end of the world. But if you want to, you can either draw an edge here or you can select that vertex, merge the center. Then here we want to insert another edge. I'm just going to put it there for now. Same thing here. And I'm going to grab that edge, delete edge vertex. So I'm starting to shape this uh, and clean up a lot of the, the issues that we were having with the geometry here from the Boolean output, which, like I said, is totally normal. In this instance here, we have, you can see these two. You run into some scenarios where you have, there's four vertices there. In that case, you can just select all of them and just do merge to center. And you'll get a weird kind of kink here, um, but we can deal with that later. Or you can just select the bottom row, go into vertex, select the bottom row, and just do merge to center. And then you can still maintain this quad here. That's going to be a bit cleaner. And then we're going to grab this vertex here, and we're going to move it over to this edge. Select both of them, merge to center. So here we have a quad, here we have a five-sided, so we can grab this guy, hold V, snap him over, and then merge to center those. Let's delete the history, my computer is starting to slow down a bit. Go up to edit, delete by type, history. So now if we hit three, we start to see it's starting to get cleaned up a bit. Um, it's still not really what we want. So what we're going to continue doing is uh, going around and stitching the areas that we need to. So in this case, I'm just going to route this one down. And then here we have a five-sided. We probably at this point want to take this guy out and do insert edge loop tool here. And then do split polygon tool from here to here. Grab this one, route it over. Here we have five sides, so we're going to grab this edge. We're going to insert an edge with split polygon tool again. And then here we also have another five side, which we're going to fix in a minute. So if you hit three, we start to see. We're getting this weird kind of kink here, which we definitely do not want. If we do the page up or function up in Mac, um, we can start to see this isn't really shaping up to what we want. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab, double click both of those and this one, and I'm going to delete edge vertex. And now you can start to see, you can do this in three mode as well. And you can see the effect a little bit more clearly. So here we can start to see, I'm going to actually delete this one. That one there. Yeah, I don't really like how that, that edge is behaving right now, so I'm going to actually just nix both of those. <clears throat> and I'm going to show you how to fix that with our interstitial uh, layer. And I'm going to do the same thing here. I'm going to double click that, delete edge vertex, and then we can start bringing, grabbing those, both of those vertices. If you want to pull it straight up, you can, or you can double click the move tool to get the move tool settings. You can do normal average and start pulling them up along the normal. If you'd like, set it back to world. So as I continue kind of cleaning this guy up, uh, what we want to do is basically start softening, softening this a bit. And right now, we still have a couple of weird moments here, uh, which we're going to fix. So it's not really a problem. Um, here we have four, four. Some of these are fine uh, to keep us triangles. So here we want to split polygon tool, that edge there, and I'm going to go ahead and get rid of that one. And then I'm going to move this vertex over to here, select both of them and merge to center. 
Go back and clear the history, edit, delete by type, history. Great, so we can start to see that it's starting to shape up a tiny bit. There's a kind of weird kink here, which I'm gonna get rid of also, so I'm gonna double click that and delete that guy. Delete edge vertex. So it's starting to shape itself up pretty nicely now. Or other moments and kind of weird kinks that we might have here. We can pull this one up a bit actually. There's this this little guy that when we merged the underside, uh, that one became kind of weird. So we're gonna insert an edge here. Actually one, two, three, we don't need to there. Okay, so that's okay for now. Uh, let's continue moving forward. If we wanted to reroute another one of these, I mean, if we want to smooth this out even more, we can grab the farthest vertex and start moving them out a bit to begin to make that transition, that fall off a bit nicer. If you can start to see here, it's a little, it's a little less abrupt. And then we do need to fix this little corner here. One, two, three, four, five. So here we could insert an edge loop right here and then route, do split polygon tool, route from this edge over to this edge. And we don't, we're not going to worry too much about the, about the state of the, the mesh for pattern purposes, we're going to show a different technique later on that is going to use a completely different uh, geometry to generate the, the pattern that we want. So for now, it's just more about getting everything set up.